Hi everyone, Heidi Smith here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United Kingdom. Back again with um, some more woven heirlooms projects for you. Now this is the lovely stamp set uh, that we've got, which is a really lovely vintage effect. Um, a couple of super sentiments, or quite a few super sentiments and some little accent pieces. And at the moment you can still get the woven heirlooms paper which is this one here, uh, which if you look is full of lovely soft pinks, um, lovely terracotta tiles. So all of these are the in colours. So we've got Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Terracotta Tile and Rococo Rose. Um, and all of those are contained within this paper, along with the retired, well, um, not available purple posy. But that's, um, if you stamp off Highland Heather, it works beautifully. But as you can see, all the papers, as always, are double-sided. And they're lovely kind of um, shabby kind of um, designs. Um, and we've got some really lovely sort of solid colours as well. You can see here, they're not solid colours, but they're kind of textured colours. Uh, so that's the kind of only piece that's really purple posy. All the others just got hints, so you can easily pick out the colours that you love. And um, today's card is, is probably not one that I do very often um, because it's kind of tearing paper. Um, and I don't know why, it's just something I, I sort of haven't got around I just don't do very much of. So I thought we'd make this. And what I've also used is the lovely Noble Peacock rhinestones, which are also retiring. So that again, they've got the um, pretty peacock in here. Um, can't remember what other colour they actually say it is, but I thought the pink was, it was a really good match for a cocoa rose. Lovely uh, blueberry bushel um, as well. So you've sort of got gorgeous sort of peacock rich colours, but they, they just went really well with this. And obviously the blue would would go with your seaside spray if you wanted, or you could just use clear rhinestones, but I would grab those while they're still available because they are beautiful colours. So that's the card we're making. Not difficult. Um, the die cut could easily be replaced with a punch if you haven't got a die cutting machine. And this is from the lovely uh, Peaceful Poppies suite. And it's a, this lovely stitched um, effect. So that, that, those dies are still available, but they're just perfect for this kind of accent to add um, a little bit to it. So let's get started. Um, okay, so I've already uh, mounted my stamps up on my blocks. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is use the seaside spray this time and I've chosen because I've chosen this paper here. Um, now I could easily pick out either the terracotta tile or Rococo rose in that as well. But I just thought that um, I just fancied a bit of seaside spray. So ink up our, our stamp and just centre that by looking through the block, just making sure it's all on. And there you go. You see that fits on really pretty. And I just thought the sort of scriptiness of this um, die cut suited the um, uh, 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 suited our style of writing beautifully. Can't get my words out today. I've then taken a standard card base. Uh, so in the UK, this is half a sheet of A4, and you would use it exactly the same way um, if you were in the US, so just half a sheet of A4. So this one is 29 by 10 and a half centimetres, scored at 14 and a half. Um, if you're in the US, you'd probably want to do yours at four and a quarter by um, 11 inches scored at five and a half. And then you want a piece of DSP that is um, six by 14 centimetres, um, which is um, one by, by five and a half. It'd be one by five and a quarter if you were in the US. So six by just 14, just to trim that down like so really uses minimal supplies and then you just want a short piece of um, I'm using my seaside spray again so again 14 centimeters and just an inch so two and a half centimeters um, for that and again just pop that but it doesn't matter if you've got one that's slightly thinner it's okay because we're only having the very edge of it showing um, anyway so that's all our cutting that you need to do for this card and then what I've, um, what I've done is I have simply taken about a third and I'm just tearing that down the centre. 
So I end up with two pieces. This one will be curved slightly. You can just straighten that out with your fingers. I'm going to add this piece to the edge of my um, my cardstock. So just put that on the edge there. Pop that to one side. And then I'm taking my little scroll that I've got here, move that up out of the way, and I'm just going to use my, again, my seaside spray to stamp just down the centre section of that. So, and what I'm doing is each time I'm stamping, I'm just sort of turning almost of like sort of quarter of a turn. Because we're only going to see this central section. And then just lay that over the top to kind of see if there's any sort of gaps. So I'll probably pop another little swirl at the top here, like so. And I think that's probably where we are. Okay. So pop our swirl to one side as well. On the inside of the card, I'm just going to use my swirl, but stamp off. Just to create a little border. just creates a bit of interest on the inside of your card for the recipient. So back to the front, not back to front, and I'm going to add some glue and I'm just going to add some down the edge of my torn bit. I don't want to stick it down completely flat because that's part of the beauty of the sort of torn edge is that it just creates a little bit of interest. But what you do want to do is make sure the bottom is glued and just pop this again just with an even so there's our basic card just add a couple of three dimensionals onto that just to give it a little bit of lift and so dimensionals the double-sided sticky pads if ever you've tried to cut sticky tape with your scissors this just avoids any problems with that so there's our sentiment and then I'm just going to use my take your pick, I'm just going to add, um, let's decide, I'm just going to, yeah I think, um, I'm just going to see whether maybe the pink actually might be rather nice. Actually, I'm going to use the pink on those just to echo the Rococo rose that's in the background there. And I'm just using one on the eye. Um, and this is just using, you'll see the end of the Take Your Pick tool has this little sticky stuff on the end. It just makes it so much easier to pick those up. So there we have a diamante flying everywhere. There we have a pair of woven upside down woven threads pretty cards to wish someone a lovely birthday thanks for watching quick and easy five minute cards um hope you enjoy them pop along to my blog to follow the links to purchase your supplies flutterbyheidi.co.uk or to my blog um to my shop heidismith.stampinup.net and uh, i'd hope to see you again soon don't forget to subscribe on youtube thanks for watching bye now